Welcome to a demonstration of a next generation HR solution built on Office 365. In this video, we'll be taking a look at SPHR from SP Marketplace. SP Marketplace provides a suite of products that forms a digital workplace on Office 365. You can purchase the products individually or you can purchase them in suites where they work as an integrated solution to form a digital workplace on Office 365. So once again, in this video, we'll be covering SPHR. If we take a look at most organizations, we hear constantly from HR professionals that there's not enough time, too much paper, and too much manual work in their job. And this really comes from all the different things that happen in HR, and it's usually because they don't have a solution. They're trying to do things with Excel spreadsheets, or they have different pieces and parts to fulfill HR functions. And a lot of it's also just pure organization, which results in a lot of emails and calls from employees asking questions. Employee records are often all over the place, spread across payroll, Excel spreadsheets, and other places, maybe even your active directory. Too many time-consuming manual processes, everything from reviews to policy management and onboarding. Redundant data entry all over the place, especially if you have multiple products doing multiple functions in your HR. Tracking compliance and reminders and making sure people are up to date with what they need to work. Onboarding and offboarding new employees is constantly getting harder and harder to do with new regulation. And policy and document organization. All of these overload the HR team. And what you need is something that can address those. And so when we take a look at this, the first thing we see is empower your employees with an online self-service portal so that you can cut down on the calls and they can actually be armed with what they need to answer their questions. Second, eliminate that phone and email if they have to get uh, to you with a service request or an HR help desk application. Now you may think you're too small to do this, but anybody that is an employee out there appreciates the ability knowing that if they submit something, it's going to be tracked and dealt with. Automate and streamline businesses across the entire uh, HR set of processes. And that can also help reduce paper. And then finally, have a place that you can easily track employee information, compliance, reviews, documents, everything in one place. Well, that's what SPHR is. We bring together SharePoint and Teams, and we have built on top of those a full, complete HR solution, which brings together all the components of HR. So it provides the ability to track employee records and compliance, to track HR policies and procedures, to automate hiring, onboarding, and termination processes, to provide employees with a portal for self-service, and also to track employee performance reviews and so on. So it really is allowing you to leverage what you already probably use, which is Office 365, leveraging SharePoint and MS Teams to provide a complete solution in one place. Now, the way that it's set up is that we actually create it in what we would call a role-based design. So for employees, they can go from your intranet or wherever you, uh, you might have um, links to a My HR Self-Service portal, which has a help desk built into it. It also has a policies and procedures libraries. They can also uh, access different documents you might uh, want to make uh, available to them or forms. They could do their own record updates for address or um, other information updates for the employee records. You can actually post news and events such as you know training or that type of thing out on this portal and you can also provide a time off capability or time off process to your employees or link out to something that you may already have. But it's, it's a single place, a My HR self-service portal that employees can go to and help themselves, which means less work for you. The second part of it is it's not just helping employees, but helping managers. And we also provide a My Employees uh, area for managers, where they could go in and do employee status changes, such things as promotions, salary changes, and have it automatically go through approvals. Uh, track compliance, making sure that certifications and so on are being renewed. They can get to different documents. They can. It will also 
automatically remind them of performance reviews that are due. They can submit new job requisitions for openings and actually track through the new hire process and provide input to the HR team. And then finally, the HR team works in the staff portal. And this is where they have all HR functions, tracking employee records, tracking those service requests and assigning those, creating policies, doing policy management and acknowledgements, managing documents, managing performance reviews, managing the hiring process and onboarding process. It is also a collaborative portal that they can share calendars, share task tracking, and so on. And then finally, this is all built out into a complete solution with built-in governance and built-in security so that the different groups don't get at information they're not supposed to. It's all out of the box and pre-built for you. So let's take a look at a demonstration of SPHR. Now this is going to be a multiple part demonstration. First, uh, as a continuation of this video, we'll see an overview tour of uh, five to ten minutes. And then this is actually a playlist and we can break down the different functions of uh, across the product in five to ten minute videos that are part of this playlist. In this role I'm actually part of the HR staff. So um, I'm actually in my Office 365. You can see here's my Outlook, here's all the other things related to Office 365. And it runs in the browser uh, and it's actually a SharePoint site. Okay, It also can be accessed from Teams and we can see that the same home page in team is available and of course you have your collaboration and files and can access planner and other things too but the key thing is it is integrated with office 365 either through SharePoint you can access it or through teams we're going to do most of this demonstration uh, in SharePoint now this is a secure site. We can see that there's six members that can actually access this information. And when we take a look at it, there's a home page that the staff comes into. This is where the staff can see any announcements related to the staff. We link them to different uh, components of the HR or functions uh, of the HR system uh, as well. There is news uh, that can be added, a staff calendar for things like uh, internal staff meetings or trainings or that type of things. And then here's service requests that have been submitted through the employee portal. Uh, so again, this acts as kind of the home page. Now at the core of the HR system uh, is employee records and the different things you can do with employees. So if we take a look at, we can get to the frequently used uh, functions within the HR product here or on the left hand side is our menu and so we can go ahead and get to things like look at all the service requests, assign service requests, add news and announcements, track HR contacts, um, manage HR policies and a number of other different things again all through the menu structure and we also have employee management so it starts with employee records but we also keep track of employee updates, changes, all the employee documents, certifications and compliance. If you uh, need to track benefit plans, you can do that. Performance reviews and policy acknowledgements. So not only just the employee records, but all activities related to employees. The next section uh, here is really hiring. And this is where you actually can get job requisitions, track applicants coming in, which you can capture from a career page on your website. So you're not no longer having to just get emailed resumes, but they actually can fill out a form, submit a resume, and it comes in and manages that. You can track applicants, uh, weed them out to candidates. Uh, you, you can look across uh, the resumes and so on as well. So handling and automating a lot of the hiring process. And then once you hire somebody, you've actually got an onboarding process. And you can look at the different active onboards. You can set up tasks. You can use DocuSign and other things to uh, do that. And there's a new hire portal as well. So these are the major functions uh, of the HR product, employee management, hiring, onboarding, things like policy management and development in the resources, and then just pure collaboration things of uh, my workspace, shared calendar, links, and task tracking uh, for the HR staff. So uh, that's kind of a, a quick overview of for the HR staff. 
let's take a look at a couple of other things. There is a Power BI dashboard, but there's also uh, the employee inter kind of interface, and there, we'll, we'll have a whole section video on that. But when an employee comes in here, they will see a My HR Portal. And the great thing about this is they don't have to bug you about finding things. They can get it themselves. They can ask for help through a service request, time off request. They could see their own time off request. They could even update their employee records, such as addresses and those type of things, without, again, bothering you. Useful documents are things like policies, procedures that they can search. There's a knowledge base and also can link out to other systems, such as maybe your payroll system. You can place announcements out here. You can even have HR contacts that they can just hover over and talk to at any time. And also have different events, HR news, and they can see any service requests that they've submitted. So the key thing here is this is everything that the employee needs to get to as far as resources, information, get answers quest to questions answered, and so on. So hopefully they don't have to come to you every time to get this because you've placed this information out there. Uh, as well. So that is a quick tour of this. We'll go into more detail and we'll actually sign in. I'm signed in as an administrator here so we I see some things that normal employees wouldn't see. But we'll see what it looks like specifically from a manager's role, from an employee's role, and drill into some of the different functions uh, of the HR product.